Well, guys, I got some bad news, and I got some bad news. <laughs> the bad news is the server most likely will be wiping. The bad part of this is that people on the server are either in two groups. They're either in, they agree it's going to wipe because whenever this server wipes, they usually wipe both servers. And it's been ha it's happened consistently in the past and it's probably going to happen consistently in the future now what I wanted to tell you guys is that we did two things which are good and bad one most of our guys have headed off to a different server and I'm going to be following them over there of course but two we want to give the guys who are a part of our alliance that are still remaining here like some of our alliance members have already left as well and the, the last two or three that are still sticking around are uh, going to fight it out because Cobra Kai has come back and they've come back strong because the, pre the other tribe members within their tribal alliance has gone or left the server as well. So basically they're accumulating all their stuff. So we took that idea and we went with it. So I've handed over um, control to all of our dinos and like... I untamed them all and I gave them to fifth column, one of our uh, stronger allies in our alliance. They've always been there covering our backs and we've been there covering theirs. Now, so I gave all of these dinos over to them. They're going to come over and grab it and take it over to their base to help defend against Cobra Kai when they do attack. Because Cobra Kai has consistently been going on around and attacking bases. Now, what I think is going to happen is they're going to attack this base very soon. And that's because the admins, in order to reduce a lot of lag, which they've gotten in the last couple of days, they've eliminated all of these plots, the X species plants. And X species plants is a vital, like, defense for our tribe. So what we did is we lined all of our pillars and all of our defenses with it. But it's gone now so we're open basically we've taken down all of our turrets pretty much and we're giving them to our allies which is great because they need it um, I'm gonna I've unclaimed a bunch of dinos for them I've given them a couple of quetzals gave them a giga some eggs from the giga I've given them a whole bunch of other things but uh, overall it's uh, it's pretty sad to see this base go because it was, we put so much work and so much effort into it and you know it's unfortunate but uh, the server wipes pretty much every month and um, to build up and we came in pretty late after the wipe so to build up and, and basically get a couple of good raids in and dominate the server with our alliance which we which was pretty damn nice we were like these small little tribes and all of a sudden boom we allied and we uh, went up against the big dogs and we took them out and it was pretty easy we we're all happy about it but uh, overall, it's it was a nice it was a nice server. It was a nice fun uh, experience. Um, we learned our strengths and weaknesses, and we developed our base design a lot more. Like this base that right here in the middle, that's a completely different new design. Um, we figured out that our old designs are a lot better. It may not be, it may not look as good, but it's a lot better uh, infrastructurally and. Uh, we're gonna go back and fall back on that old design now our outer designs here though like this whole uh, double column triple quadruple like multi ring system on our base uh, we're gonna be going with that design specifically because it keeps all of our dinos in the courtyard and if we ever want to get our dinos out we can just get them out by jumping these pillar things with a ramp which is fantastic for keeping dinos in and in the multiple outer pillars we actually have let me show you here we have uh, things set up so that we can have our outer courtyard and this outer courtyard is this is the second one there's another one past this no <laughs> sorry this is the last one sorry uh, we started developing uh, turret boxes so we would have all our generators and everything set to players only so that if they do bust down our gates and run in with a t-rex the players get killed you know what I mean so uh, that's gonna work really nice it's a really cool idea we did on a previous server it worked very well but here we actually got to implement it properly from start to fin well not start to finish but 
we got it all down pretty good. Like the spacing and protects the columns of the gates and so on and so forth. But uh, it, can, it turned out pretty nice. We have a few that are actually operating right now. Uh, so did you bust down these gates? Boom, they get hit. And then they have to go through these metal beam gates to get to our inner courtyard. Now, this is a great design. I suggest everyone, if you have the time, the manpower, and the resources to do it, to do it because it is a very, very good thing to do because this whole courtyard right here is when you're done and you got all those pillboxes up and everything, what you do is you start throwing down pillars everywhere. About two or three high pillars. I'd say two high just to make it a lot less resource dependent make it too high and just spam the shit out of this put pillars absolutely everywhere because what you want to do is you want to have the t-rexes and all the spinos and all the gigas to be able to get into the court very fairly easy but make it extremely difficult for them to turn around and get out of the court which allows enough time for your turrets here to take care of all of the players on the ground and have them try to whistle the T-Rex to come back out and follow them. Well, while you do that, you have a good amount of T-Rexes and enemies in the field with all the pillars in the way, is you have all of your metal behemoth gates pin-coded so that you can open them all at the same time. And basically what you get is you get all the XPC plants up here just annihilating everything in the field. So... We started doing a second column here to not only prevent it from blowing through very easily, but we were planning on running a bunch of turrets along here too. So, you know, you get a nice barricade and you lull them into a sense of security by having these big metal gates in the way so they can't get hit by the turrets in the inside. But once they do get inside, you open up all the doors for a couple of seconds, let the turrets that are set to dinosaurs and players only just completely annihilate everything in the field and then you close them back up again and you continue the fight it is a great great strategic ability to do that and it just completely demoralizes the enemy and they come in here they think they got they got in they see these gates these bullets are taking them out they're trying to call back their dinos their dinos are getting stuck on all the pillars and then you open up these gates and in the X species in turns completely annihilate everything well, oh, <laughs> fucker. And basically, it's a really good strategy. And once you get that down packed, you pretty much are untouchable when it comes to certain things. Now, coming from the air, the air is the issue that uh, a lot of people have ish like problems with is like people flying over your base and dropping dinos in there and wasting your bullets and everything. So, if you have all your plant turrets along this ridge here and all your plant turrets along this ridge with turrets on your towers and everything then you basically and on down here as well and basically when they fly over if they're too low they get clipped and killed if they're too high they gotta drop the dino from above real high and once they get in range you get the full depth of your range of your turrets from going from the, the point of when they can reach them to the point of when that dino falls on the ground and when that dial hits the ground, they're usually annihilated. So you got a pretty good cover. Now if you want to go even a little further with that, which we didn't on this server, but we have on before, is that right on the middle of your top base, you put a really high pillar. Like just pillars all the way up to the top, and then you put a little like room or a box up there, and then you have turrets all on top of that. So it reaches the really high building point of your base, and usually gets rid of people with pteranons and stuff like that. Now, on this base design, which we're not going to be going with anymore, we're going to be changing it a lot. We have an inner courtroom here. All this electrical stuff it should not be here. The only reason why we put it in here was simply because we pre previously had the side of our base blown in. Uh, we repaired it. There will be a video of it before. If you haven't seen it, go back and see it. I'll explain what the problem was and how we fixed it. But overall, we have cell uh, things with uh, so if they do blow in and they're like running around trying to breach the walls, they hit with a bunch of turrets and the turrets are all you know, they're all up here in the corners and the sides and everything like that. So it's a nice little base. Uh, we will be changing that for sure because there was a pretty big weakness in it. 
um, not, not necessarily a weakness that would get you raided or anything. It was just that our enemy had like 5,000 rockets and he just basically spammed the shit out of it. But uh, okay, this is another really great defense that I want you guys to learn. This defense right here basically is people always try to go on through the doors because doors are technically the weakest points of a base. Now, dino gates are weaker than a wall. I think they're 750 or uh, let me see what the... Sorry for my snuffling and stuff. I'm sick. I wanted to do a video for you guys anyways. So I got up for a couple hours to do this. Okay, so these gates are 6,250. Now, the wall, of course, as you all know, is 10,000. So people tend to go through the doors, right? Well, if you get an enemy to go through the door, they go, okay, let's get through, guys. Boom, they blow this door up. Oh, wait a minute. There's another door behind it. Let's blow this one up. Oh, wait and so forth so if you have this many doors in here you've just made this spot almost unbreachable they're gonna run out of the resources way before they get in okay so that's a really nice thing so they're gonna try to they're gonna get part way through here and be like ah shit and then they're gonna go and try to go through the walls well the walls what you want to do is you want to make them really thick there's a, I'm not going to show you guys how to do this because it's a little bit of a secret of ours. Um, I'm sure I've seen other tribes have it, but look at this. There's two walls there. It's no no modding, no nothing. This is the basic vanilla uh, arc building snap point. So that's what I'll give you guys to do. It is possible. Now, there is possible to make them even thicker, but that I will not divulge because simply... And that's what prevents us from being raided pretty hard. Uh, another little trick I will show you guys. Double doors. Double doors are fantastic because everyone wants to get into a door. But when they blow in and they see another door behind, they're confused. They're pissed off. And they've just wasted a lot of C4. So, double doors. Uh, same thing as before. You can snap them together. Figure it out, people. It's not that hard. Now... Basically, I always want to suggest that in fabricator rooms, you guys, you guys always have to have turrets in here. This is what people want. They come straight for the fabricator. They come straight for the smithy because people leave stuff in there, and it's usually good stuff. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, see, there's bullets and stuff like that. That's what people want. Uh, just make sure you basically have turrets to defend that because some servers will allow you to lock them which is a mod but a lot don't they're open second of all you want to always have all oh, this generator was in there it was just simply put there for a reason well turrets in these rooms too we got our charcoal makers we got our gas makers we got all kinds of stuff uh, basically those are pretty th good things uh, another basic solid idea is always have ladders in your house never have ramps ramps allow people to go up and down them as they will wooden ladders are the best to have never use metal because if someone's blowing in here and they want to get to that hatch they're going to go up your ladder they're going to go up let's go up this ladder and they're going to get up there they're going to plant their c4 on the hatch they're going to go down they're going to detonate but then the ladder breaks because it has such low health on it and then they're stuck they're stuck down here on this level they can't get up there make sure it's three high so that they can't jump they can't bring a dino in and jump on top of the dino to get up there it's gonna be hard they're gonna have to go through either the sides or the top and the top is usually where you have all your defenses right so it's a nice little base design we will be changing this main base significantly significantly we're gonna go back to our old design because it's try it's been proven over and over again this one was actually breached because of a weak spot spot that we later fixed but uh, if you look down here again you could double snap things it is possible and this note it's not a not a foundation with the ceiling on top it's two foundations in themselves so I personally don't know how to do this I haven't learned it yet but our builder he is absolutely remarkable like the guy can just do magic in this game uh, as you can see here we actually have three thick walls here actually four uh, it is possible people um, just think think of what 
could possibly get you even further out. Here's a hint. Look at that little bevel down there. Think people. Really, really easy thing to do. I won't be telling secrets about this stuff simply because we go on servers all the time and we don't want our enemies learning these secrets so that they'll do it too. Uh, last thing I want to mention before I end this video is turret towers. Turret towers are extremely important in this game. They extend your, def your defenses remarkably from your main base and they prevent people from getting in. They have to deal with this stuff before they can even get in the main base which allows you and your allies to form a good defense. I would uh, I would suggest that you expand all these towers. We only put four up, but usually we'll have four in our inner ring. We'll have four on each of these outer ring corners, with one or two in between each of the corners. So if you got time, the map power, and the people, do it. It is great. It works very very well. Just make sure you keep it supplied with gas or oil, whatever you're using. And I highly doubt you guys will get raided unless you have an enemy that has a lot of rockets. Uh, rocket turrets on top of your towers are always fun to have just in case they're flying in with a Quetzal with armor as well as uh, ammo. Remember, ammo turrets do not work on unmanned dinos. They'll damage them a little bit, but they won't do a lot of damage. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure people are on dinos because when you shoot them with that, it just rips them up big time. So, I hope you guys learned a little bit, uh, a little bit of an explanation of why we are leaving this server and going to another. I look forward to showing you guys some other videos of me on the new server, developing our new base, and getting things together, and all the little fun raids that we have here and there, and the fun moments. So, don't feel disappointed, guys. This was a beautiful base, as you can see absolutely beautiful we are going to build another one that's going to be better and stronger and i'll see you guys later